Hello and welcome. Happy Saturday. Welcome to class. My name is Tiana Christine and we are going to have a nice flow today. I won't be actually live live, but I'm still going to be live in the chat. So go ahead and say hello. Definitely we'll be shouting you out there. Uh, so I was not able to be live today, but don't worry, I'm still with you. I'm happening to be traveling, so in transit, and I was not able to be live, but I would not miss a class. So I definitely had to make sure that I got you a Saturday class. So that's why I am here making sure to start off your day the right way. So we're still going to get our stretch. We still gonna get all of our props. So again, I have my blocks to my left and my right. So go ahead and grab all of your things. Maybe you wanna have a little bolster or a chair. You can always bring that in the mix. What do you use when you don't have either of the two, right? Maybe you wanna use a can of beans in place of your block, something that's gonna hold you up. I would suggest an aluminum can. Uh, and what do you want to use if you don't have a bolster or you can have a pillow? If you want to use a strap, I won't be queuing for a strap, but if you want to use that, you're welcome to use a, a belt, a scarf, a towel, something like that, that's going to help to get you in that position. So use all of your tools today. Get yourself moving. We're going to have a good practice. I hope that you're having a great day. Let's start to just kind of get ourselves moving, right? Maybe you're just waking up in the morning and we want to move our bodies. So get your body moving because we're getting ready to get started with our practice. We're going to get started in a seated position. So I invite you to get all of your things and then just join me on the mat. And I want you to just rock it out for a second. Move your body, move around in a circle because you want to just get all the kinks out, right? That's the best part about starting your day with music. I tend to start my day with music and I want you to just think about starting your day being happy about your day because one, you woke up this morning, so give thanks to that. And two, just being grateful that you're able to even move your body in whatever way that you're moving it. So let's give thanks for that. So come down to a nice comfortable seat. Starting our day like we started all the time with intention. And just being thankful that you've one, given yourself the opportunity to just be present here. Even if there's outside distractions that's going on around you, you still are present in this very moment. So I want you to be thankful for that. Give thanks. However you're feeling today, together let's just take a deep breath in through the nose. And exhale, let it out. Again, deep inhale in. Releasing all of the tension, the stress, the worry. Letting that melt away on the mat. And for the next time that we have together, these next minutes, I want you to just be here. Our minds sometimes race and it can be so many different places. We have so many thoughts and so many things that we have going on in our lives. But for the time that we have here, I challenge you to just stay here in the moment. So many times that we rarely get that opportunity to just be present in the moment. So I invite you to be present here with me today. And as we seal that intention of just presence. I invite you to take another cleansing breath. Allow your shoulders to relax, getting even in your sit bones. We're gonna take those arms up overhead, 
gaze up towards the hands. Exhale, bring them down. Hands come to heart center and bring them back up overhead. Just moving your body. Exhale, bring it down, making your circles. Exhale, bring it down. Inhale, bring it up. And exhale, take it down. Two more, inhale, bring it up. Exhale, down. Last one, bring it up. Exhale, take the hands down to heart center. Just keep them here for a second. Thumbs towards the chest. It's taking a pause. We're gonna take that right elbow, begin to turn it towards the left thigh. Just being mindful to keep your body uplifted. And then coming back to center and taking that left elbow towards the right thigh. Looking behind you if that's available. Coming back to center. I want you to cross your legs a different way. So whatever leg was on top is now on the bottom. Crossing your legs a different way. It doesn't have to be this full complete cross. Maybe it's just across here. And that's okay. Whatever feels good to you. We're going to inhale again. Bring those arms up overhead. Holding it here. Look in between the space within your fingers. As you still have those arms up, just releasing the shoulders away from the ears, but still keeping yourself in pronation here. It's keeping your arms up. We don't want to anchor them down. That's going to lead to injury. We want to still keep them up, but just not too close. Give yourself some room. And on that exhale, as we bring our hands down to frame our bodies, look behind you. Stretching your neck. Keep breathing as you turn and look behind you maybe a little bit deeper. Coming back to center, bringing both arms back up overhead. And again, turning to the opposite direction, framing your body, look behind you. breathing. And on that next inhale, bring the arms back up overhead. Gaze up and exhale. Begin to forward fold however that looks for you. Maybe even grabbing a block, placing it out in front. Maybe your hands come down. Maybe even your forehead. Give yourself permission to release the tension in the lower back. Maybe even taking the block down a bit or maybe releasing your hands down. I want you to take two more breaths wherever you are. And on that next inhale, begin to bring yourself back up to a comfortable seat. You move your block over to the side. Take those knees, bring them to one side, come to your tabletop position. Let's start to move our bodies. All right, taking those hands down, bringing the wrists to stack right over the shoulders. Our knees are gonna stack right underneath of our hips. Give your body a rock. Move your body from left to right. Move your hips. And let's start to make our circles. So move circles with your hips. Begin to put a little bit of weight into the fingertips. We're starting to warm up our wrists here as we move in our circles. Warming up our hips. Pressing into the tops of our feet. Now if you realize that there's any wrist pain, just go ahead and move your wrist out towards the outer parts of your mat. I'm gonna pause here. Go around in the opposite direction. So I want you to think about moving your body but not moving your fingers. We're getting our bodies ready 
So start weight bearing as we move into our different postures and our flow. As we start our downward facing dog in a little bit, we're gonna keep our hands in a similar position. So whatever the position is, you're gonna keep it there. Move your hips back towards your heels. We're gonna bring those arms up overhead um, and just walk them up the mat. Bring your forehead down to our child's pose. Knowing that you can come back to this posture at any time. Release the tension around your shoulders. Keep breathing. And on that inhale, go ahead and bring the gaze towards the hands. Again, bring your hands into whatever position that you need them in. We're gonna tuck our toes under, but this time shift the weight back towards the heels again. Just getting a gentle toe stretch. bring the gaze towards the hands we're gonna bring our knees up our first downward facing dog go ahead and pedal your feet out bending opposite knee move your hips this is our first one so have fun with it move your body walking the gaze up the leg tucking your chin into your chest and when you're ready can start to bring those heels down. Maybe the heels come down on the earth, maybe they don't, but just bring them in that direction. Keep a bend into your knees. Breathe here. We're gonna take three breaths. Maybe getting a little bit deeper as you go. And then we're gonna walk our hands to the back of our mat towards our feet coming into our forward fold. So this is our first forward fold of the day. So we wanna give ourselves permission to be gentle with our bodies, keeping that bend into our knees. Belly is gonna be down on the thighs. Relax your head, look behind you. I'm gonna give yourself a rock from left to right. Noticing how the back of our legs feel. Maybe they're a little tight. Maybe they're feeling good. We're just getting a feel for our body right now. Love on yourself. Maybe move those hills a little bit. And then go ahead and bring yourself to stillness as you get a little bit deeper into the forward fold. Maybe grabbing the ankles, maybe just grabbing the ground. Whatever feels comfortable to you. Taking two more breaths here. And on that exhale, we're gonna bend the knees, bringing the bottom down towards the heels, little squat. And stretch it back out again, forward fold. Come back to a squat. Forward fold. And squat. Forward fold. One more and squat, four fold. Warming up that lower part of our bodies. On that inhale, slowly peel yourself up to a comfortable standing position. We're gonna bring those arms overhead, our extended mountain slight back bend here as we gaze up towards the ceiling. Maybe the hands touch, maybe they don't. And on that exhale, bringing the hands down to our mountain pose. We're going to take a walk to the front of our mat. Now you may notice that walking to the back of your mat for a downward facing dog, that's a little bit more comfortable than bringing the feet forward. You can use that. I'm going to be cueing forward fold. You take forward fold however you want to. We're all going to meet here at the front of our mat in our mountain pose. Taking a moment here, just taking it all in, looking down at our feet. Maybe our feet are together, where our feet touch and our knees are together. Maybe we have a little bit of space here, giving us a balance. I want you to do what works for you. So just remember, this is your practice. Do what works for you. We're gonna start our sun salutation. A, bring the arms up overhead. Exhale, forward fold. Let's take a flat back. Plant the hands, step back, and 
and we're gonna flow it out. So as we flow it out, we step back to a plank. Maybe we bring those knees down to our tabletop position. Whatever feels good to you. Now you have the option of lowering your body down or just pushing back to downward facing dog. Whichever one, I'm gonna go ahead and cue lowering your body down. So you can start here in tabletop position or maybe in that plank position. Lower your body down, elbows in, and then press up, coming to an upward facing dog or maybe a little cobra action, keeping the knees down, whatever feels good. Again, those elbows are back. And then tuck your toes, downward facing dog. Here's where we're all gonna meet in our flow. We're gonna take three breaths. Pressing the hands away. Walking the gaze up the belly. And coming to a forward fold. Whatever that forward fold looks like for you, On your inhale, bring the arms up overhead. Exhale, forward fold. All right. Flat back. Plant the hands, step back. We flow. Again, whatever feels good to you. Take three breaths here in our downward facing dog. I really want you to get the full benefit of this stretch. Not only are you pressing away with your hands, you're stretching the back of your legs. Keep a slight bend. Getting a stretch in your neck and your shoulders, tucking your chin into your chest. This is a full body stretch. We take full benefit. And forward fold. Inhale, come up. Extended mountain. Exhale, forward fold. Let's get into the music. Flat back. Plant the hands, step back, let's slow it out. Downward facing dog, we take three breaths. Today's number is three, y'all. It's three. <laughs> and breathe. Breath is the most important thing. Don't forget that. Four fold. Inhale, bring it all the way up. Exhale, four fold. You got this. Yes. Flat back. Plant the hand, step back, let's blow it out. Take three breaths here in your down facing dog. Releasing the shoulders. Feeling the stretch in the back of the legs. So we're gonna bring that right foot forward. So we're gonna bring the left foot, we're gonna turn that foot out 45 degrees. Go ahead and bring that right foot forward. We're gonna be here in our warrior position, just with our feet. So notice the heels should be somewhat in a line from heel to heel, an imaginary line. Put that bend into that front knee, gaze is forward. Check in with your body. Maybe you wanna get your blocks and go ahead and be on your blocks now, depending on what you wanna do. Make it your practice. On that inhale, we're gonna press into the feet as we bring ourselves up to our warrior one. Again, keeping that bend into the knee. Readjust wherever you need to. Take a moment. On that exhale, open the hips, open the arms. Again, keep the bend into the knee. Take a moment here and breathe. On that inhale, we're gonna straighten that front leg as we bring the arms up. 
Exhale, get back into the warrior two. Inhale, bring the arms up. Straighten the front leg. Exhale, dip back down. Inhale, bring it up. Exhale, back down. We're gonna get that hip nice and open. Bring it up. Exhale, bring it down. We're gonna do three more at your own breath. This is encouraging you to breathe and move, being conscious of your body. Last one and hold here. Bring the gaze over that front ring finger. On that exhale, windmill your hands down. If you have a block, go ahead and move it over to the side. Step back, flow it out. We all meet in downward facing dog. And here again, we're gonna take three breaths. Walking the gaze up the leg. Pressing into our fingertips, pushing our bodies and our weight back towards the heels. So we're gonna do that same thing on the opposite foot. So again, we're gonna turn that right heel, pivot it out as we walk the left foot forward. All right, we're gonna be here in our pose getting ourselves nice and comfortable within this stance. Now I'm gonna turn so that I'm facing you on this opposite side. Again, you're welcome to bring a block just to kind of get you focused here and get you stable. And once you're nice and stable, we're gonna begin to push ourselves up, bringing those arms overhead for our warrior one on this side. Now again, depending on your heel placement, you might wanna adjust that heel wherever it feels comfortable to put that bend into the knee. On that exhale, open out to your warrior two. We're just moving our arms, maybe opening that hip a little bit more, keeping the bend into the front knee. Breathe. On that inhale, as we straighten that front leg, bring the arms up overhead. Exhale, take it back down. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, go deep. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. You got it. Exhale. Three more. I said the word of the day was three, right? Oh, the letter of the day. <laughs> the number of the day. <laughs> and last one and hold. Gaze over that front ring finger. Get nice and strong. Lift through the chest. Breathe. And windmill your arms down. We're going to come back into our downward facing dog. So however you want to transition, go ahead and transition yourself. We meet in downward facing dog. Take your three breaths. As we bring the gaze towards the hands, we're gonna bring ourselves to a forward fold, whatever that looks like to you. If you're at the back of the mat, go ahead and bring yourself towards the front, coming into this forward fold. We're gonna put a bend into the knees. Sweep those arms up overhead. Sit in our chair. Maybe the hands come together where that index fingers are pointed out. Relieving that tension from your shoulders, but still keeping them up high. Getting your back nice and long. Maybe the knees are together. Shifting the weight into the heels. Give yourself a moment here. And on that exhale, we forward fold, release the tension. Oh, that feels good. Taking a flat back. Plant the hands down, step back. We're gonna flow it out. Again, we're gonna take that warrior position. So bringing that left foot out towards the side to Pivot the foot into our warrior position. Take the right foot forward. Get yourself comfortable. We're gonna cartwheel open to our warrior two right away. 
So go ahead and bring yourself into that warrior stance. Again, readjust your body. Now you may wonder, why is she cueing when we're not bringing that foot forward or swinging the foot forward? We're moving this forward, this foot first. Well, that's getting you into the posture where you're not having to just move that foot. The back foot is already there. You're welcome to swing the foot however you're normally used to doing it. That's just one other way of doing it. And yes, this is my way of keeping you here within this stance just a little bit longer. Inhale, we're gonna reverse our warrior. Gaze up towards the ceiling or maybe the hand, keeping that bend into the knee. Stretching that inner thigh, stretching the side body. Exhale, we're gonna come down to our side angle. So bring that forearm down onto the thigh, sweep the arm up overhead. Maybe you turn up towards the ceiling. This is gonna open up your chest. Keep that bend into your front knee. Again, we're rooting our weight, shifting it and making it even on the back heel and the front foot. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, side angle. Inhale to reverse. Exhale, windmill your hands down. As we step back, we flow it out. Take three breaths. With every breath, just think about bringing the heels back towards the back of your mat, even if the heels don't touch. Tucking your chin. We're gonna do that same thing on the opposite side. So again, pivot that heel. We're gonna bring the left foot forward. And wherever you are, get nice and comfortable here. Again, I'm gonna turn so I'm on the front side for you. On that inhale, we windmill and cartwheel open to our warrior two. Again, readjust your body wherever you need to. Really bending in that front knee. Getting your body here lifted, lifting through the chest. Feeling that stretch along that front foot. Allowing yourself to just settle here. Yes, I'm stalling, making sure that you get the stretch on this side. Because we have both sides, we have to make sure that we're benefiting both sides. It's sometimes those postures that we don't like that we really feel like our body needs, right? We may not think about that in the moment, but afterwards we're like, oh, okay, yes, I really did need that. Inhale to reverse. Gaze up towards the ceiling. Maybe the hand lifting through the chest. We're stretching this whole front side body here. Exhale, side angle. Stretch over, we're lifting through the chest. Again, opening up, looking towards the ceiling. That's gonna open up and stack our shoulders. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, side angle. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, side angle. And lifting through the chest. We're saluting the sun. The sun is rising. Inhale, reverse. And on that exhale, as we windmill our hands down, we step back and we flow it out. We meet in our downward facing dog. I want you to take three breaths. And on the exhales, I want you to really just allow yourself to settle in, walking the gaze up. We're gonna bring that gaze towards the hands again, coming to your forward fold, whatever that looks like for you. Putting a bend into the knees. We're gonna go ahead and sit in our chair. So again, you can have the knees together. You're gonna take that pressure off, shift the weight into the heels. 
Work on your balance, whatever that looks like for you. Elongate the spine. On that exhale, bring yourself to stand, mountain pose. Shake it out. All right. I want you to begin to just stand here within your pose, within your mountain pose. Maybe you're at the front of your mat. I'm just coming off to the side, so that way you can see what I'm getting ready to do. So as we stand here, again, the feet can be together, or maybe give yourself a little bit of space. We're gonna to start to work with a little balance. So I want you to make sure that you're giving yourself enough room here. Maybe even if you wanna position yourself a little bit closer to a wall so that you can reach out and touch it if you need it. Focusing on a dristy. A dristy point is something that is not moving. As we focus here, we're looking at something forward, right in our line of sight, something that is static, not moving. We're gonna to begin to root down into our feet, all four corners of our feet, slight like bend into our knees. On that inhale, we're gonna lift that right foot up. So again, I'm your mirror, so this is gonna be my right foot. Lifting it up, bringing the feet up. Again, you can hug the knee in, or if you'd like an extra challenge, just bring it in, but not with your hands. So again, you can hug the knee in, or maybe you just have it in without using your hands. Root down into that standing leg. Use your toes to grip into the mat, standing up nice and tall. We're gonna point the leg out, straighten the leg, bring it back in, put a bend into the knee. That's where it gets tricky. Straighten the leg, put a bend back into the knee. Ooh, you're working that quad now. Straighten the leg, put a bend. And last one, straighten the leg, lower it all the way down. Shake it out, woo! All right, let's get back into it on the other side. Again, we're getting comfortable here. Now this is hard, because I actually like this song, so it's gonna be hard for me to stand still. All right, but well, we got this. We're focused. We're focused on the drifting. Let's go ahead and plant our feet. Again, get yourself nice and ready here. We're gonna take a lift on that opposite leg. And again, begin to bring that knee in towards the chest. You can do it with your hands, hug the knee in. Maybe you try it without hugging it. Standing up straight, focus on that dristy point, focus on something that isn't moving. If you wobble, come out, come right back. I'm right here waiting on you. And on that exhale, we straighten the leg and bring it back in. Straighten the leg, bring it in. Straighten the leg, bring it in. Those quads are warming up. Straighten it out, bring it in. Last one, straighten the leg, lower it down. Let's stretch it out. Go ahead and rock your body from left to right. You deserve that one. Go ahead and shake. Letting your arms just slap across your body. Moving your neck. Bringing yourself back to the front of your mat if you're not already. Coming into your mountain pose. Bring the arms up overhead, extended mountain. Slide back, bend here. Exhale, forward fold. Flat back. We're gonna plant the hands as we step back and we flow it out. Taking three breaths in our downward facing dog. Now this time we are gonna bring the foot forward and we're gonna keep the opposite leg forward towards the mat. So we're gonna get into a lunge position. So go ahead and bring the right foot forward. The left foot is still gonna be tracked forward in our lunge. So stay here. Go ahead and position your body wherever you need it to be. 
And we're gonna bring those arms up overhead. Bring it up. Press into the feet. Slight bend into the knees here. Relax your shoulders. Lift through the chest. On that exhale, bring the hands down. Come back to your downward facing dog. Two more breaths. And opposite foot comes forward. Again, getting into your lunge position. Toes are gonna be tracked forward. You're on the ball of that back foot. Once you get settled, go ahead and lift. High lunge. Keep breathing. Lift through the chest. Bend in the knee. You got this. On that exhale, go ahead and lower the hands back down. Step back to your downward facing dog. You don't have to flow it out. Step right back. Take three breaths. The number of the day is three. Now we're gonna go ahead and come back down to that tabletop position. So drop your knees, come back to that table, go ahead and give yourself a rock. We're gonna go ahead and extend out our right leg. So extend out that right leg. We're gonna prop that left foot a little bit behind us. Come down onto the pinky toe edge of your foot, sweeping that right arm up overhead. Stretch here, opening your body, however that looks to you. And bring it down. Bring that knee back in, come back to your table, give it a rock. We're gonna do the same thing on the opposite side. So bring that left foot back, whatever that looks like. We're gonna kick, stay in that opposite foot out a little behind us. Lift the left arm up, sweep it overhead. Lift through the chest. And on that exhale, let's take it back down. Go ahead and give yourself a rock. We're gonna bring ourselves down onto our bottoms. Bring your knees forward, feet are gonna be forward. Go ahead and shimmy your body up towards the front of your mat where the feet are gonna be at the top, giving yourself enough room to lie down on your back. Lifting up through the chest. Let's see if we can do this with no hands. So lift up through the chest, we're gonna tuck our tailbone under as we float back. All the way back. That's it, just engaging our body as we come all the way down nice and slow. Bring the arms up overhead. Take a moment. Just breathe, relaxing your arms, relaxing your elbows. We're gonna to begin to walk our heels towards our glutes. So walk your heels in. Bring those fingertips down towards your heels. Move your body. Maybe our fingertips touch towards our heels, maybe they don't. You do what works good for you. We're bringing those elbows in regardless. So readjust. We're setting up for our bridge pose. The sun is coming out so nice. We're welcoming the sun today. As you get ready to push up in your bridge pose, planting your hands down towards your heels or maybe bringing those elbows in. As we press into the feet and we lift the hips up. Keep breathing. Press into the hands. Lift through the hips your quads. Let's see if we can lift just a little bit higher, just a little bit higher. Release the shoulders, unclench the jaw. And on that exhale, lower the hips back down. Lower back on the mat. Give your knees a little rock from left to right. We're setting up again. 
bringing those heels in. We're gonna do bridge one more time. Press into the feet as we lift through the hips. Keep breathing. We're breathing and we're rising our hips up. So just bring the hips up, maybe engage the glutes. Again, if you wanna bring those elbows towards the ribs, you can press into the back of the arms to lift through your hips, whatever feels comfortable. And on that exhale, I'm gonna bring the hips back down. Hug your knees into your chest. Give it a rock from left to right. We're gonna lower down one leg. Either leg doesn't matter because we have two of them. We're gonna do one at a time. Even if you don't have two, we're gonna do both, both sides. Try to even out our body. Go ahead and rock from left to right. So again, yoga is for everybody. You adjust. Maybe you don't have 10 fingers. Maybe you don't have 10 toes. Maybe you have more, maybe you have less. The body adjusts. We're gonna take the knee, bring it across the body. Take it down. This twist feels amazing on the back. The inner thigh, we're gonna take that same arm that we have the knee, bring it out to a T behind us. And let's see if we can turn our gaze back towards that hand. As we not only stretch our hips, but our shoulders, the inner thigh, giving our body permission to just surrender here. And on that inhale, Let's bring the knee back in. Give it a little rock. I want you to straighten that leg. So straighten the leg. Keep a slight bend. Maybe you point. Maybe you flex. And point. And flex. And point. We're stretching the back of our leg and move it around in a circle. An opposite way with your circle. We're gonna bring that leg out to the side, all the way out to the opposite side here. And bring it back up. Maybe you need that hands to adjust. Maybe not, bring it back off to the side one more time. And bring it back. A little hip mobility here. Go ahead and put a bend back into the knee, hug it in towards the chest. And let's go ahead and swap it out so we're hugging in the opposite leg now. Lower that other one down. And again, we cross the knee over the body. Let it come down. Open up that side, open up the lower back, taking that hand over the thigh. And then that same hand as the knee, bringing it out to a T. Taking that gaze towards your hand. Surrender your shoulders. That feels good to me. I don't know about you. Give yourself space between your hips and your ribs. It's not about getting that knee down. It's just about feeling that stretch along the hip. And on that next inhale, let's bring that knee back in. Come back onto your back. Hugging the knee into the chest. Again, straighten the leg. You can flex and point. Flex and point. And flex and point. Move it around, make circles. Again, we're gonna do the same thing, move in the opposite way. And then bringing that foot out to the side. Maybe you may notice, oh, this side doesn't go as deep or maybe this one's okay, whatever side. Bringing it back up. Maybe you have that hand to bring it back up, maybe not. 
and back down again moving that hip and back up bend the knee hug it back in and this time we're just gonna go opposite knee just hugging it in opposite knee just go ahead and pedal it out that way so bring it in lower down the other one swap it out and swap feel that core right we're not fully engaging but you feel that the muscles are being moved here and you feel the stomach two more on each side one on that one one on this one two on this one two on this one we're gonna straighten out both feet. Maybe they hover, maybe they don't. Try to keep the feet together as much as possible. Bring the arms up overhead. And on that exhale, hug the knees into the chest. Give it a little rock from left to right. You got this. As we begin to lower our legs down, letting the body relax here giving yourself permission to just breathe on the mat. Take any final pose that feels good to you. Coming back to our breath. I want you to take a deep inhale in through the nose. And then exhale, open mouth chest relax let the shoulders relax we're releasing tension starting with our toes uncurling them allowing our feet to be heavy on the mat releasing the tension from our knees our thighs Surrendering our hips, uncurling our fingers, readjusting maybe to get our lower back in connection with the mat as much as possible. Elongating our ribs and our spine, allowing our belly to move with the breath, Releasing the tension from the shoulders in the exhale, letting the shoulders connect with the mat. Softening our neck, unclenching our jaw, relaxing our tongue. Soften the gaze in your eyes and releasing that third eye, letting it get soft. Tapping into our intuition. As we lie here, giving ourselves some breaths of stillness, energizing our minds, settling our body. And you might even think of energizing your body and settling your mind. Whichever way that feels right for you today, I want you to say that to yourself. So one is being energized why the other is settling. And not settling as in a negative, but settling as to get comfortable, to relax. It's using these few moments of silence and stillness in whatever way silence looks like in your home space. 
Maybe it's never going to be completely quiet. But you just get used to being able to quiet the noise. Take two more breaths in silence. And as we begin to bring energy and awareness back into our bodies in space, wiggling your fingers and toes, hug one knee at a time in towards your chest. Go ahead and roll over to a comfortable side. Cradle your head. And when you're ready, using that top hand to push yourself up into any comfortable seat. Taking our hands to heart center, our thumbs into our chest. I want you to thank yourself for showing up for you today thanking your body for showing up. I thank you for allowing me to be a part of your day, allowing me to practice with you. I want you to take this energy with you off the mat and share it with others because energy is infectious. I wish you a great day. Can't wait to practice with you again. Namaste. right family that has been a great great practice again can't wait to practice with you again remember your shout outs are all in the chat oh. and remember I'm here every Saturday 8 30 where we're gonna practice again so I can't wait can't wait to practice with you I wish you a great day remember take this energy with you go ahead and enjoy and I will see you again next week, same time, same place. Be well. Thank you again for watching. Have a great one. All right, that is a wrap on our practice. I hope again that you enjoyed it. I love practicing with you. So again, remember if you got value out of this to go ahead and press the like button. If you have not already subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. Keep me updated with your practice on how things are going. I love to connect. I respond to every single message. So please let me know how you're doing. And then again, connect with me on social media. Tag me in some of your yoga photos and videos. I do share them. And again, I thank you so much for allowing me to be a part of it. I can't wait to see you in the next practice. Have a great one.